Excellent. Let me talk to about Jan just for a few seconds and then you know, maybe we can engage with him a little bit. Absolutely. You'll notice a few different things. First, it has wheels. Second, of course, you saw it. Second, it has bionic hands for dexterity. The third thing you might notice, it has two batteries. So we developed a really interesting system where we can do self-swapping of batteries for continuous operation, which has been a bit of a challenge actually in the human space. What you cannot see is that inside, there's actually three different computers. The first computer is a general computing engine. The other two computers are actually AI engines to do everything we can from an AI at the edge. Very critical, obviously, for autonomy, that the robot can do most of it on its own. And the last piece is at the head, although that's the highest concentration, but there's a few others elsewhere. We have 22 different sensors in the robot. 12 different cameras. They look at the periphery of Aeon. They look in front, they look in the back. We have AR cameras to understand heat around the room, to understand people, etc., and a number of other sensors. We think that's a differentiating factor. All of these actually combined is quite differentiating with what we've seen in the market. And frankly, it's a big step towards versatility because once you have those sensors, not only you have awareness, like we showed in the video, but frankly, more importantly, a lot of use cases are unlocked with those sensors. Reality capture, asset inspection, and so on. So we're, uh, we're quite proud of uh, the engineering feat that Aeon is. Amazing. Aeon, can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Eon, and I am a working humanoid from Switzerland. I was designed to complete industrial tasks such as manipulation, part inspection, and reality capture. I am excited to be here today at Hexagon Live. Excellent. Amazing. Nothing, nothing. Now, I know you and I are casually having a conversation here in front of 3,000 people. So I prepared a few questions for you. So, I think it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> when do you think Eon can work alongside people? Great question. So uh, Aeon was, was truly designed and built uh, to work alongside the workforce. I think you've talked about aging population. What we also hear from many industry leaders is that there are other workforce challenges, labor shortage and so on. So the world actually needs humanoids to complete a number of tedious and repetitive tasks as an example uh, across many different industries. So we think this is a great solution to complement the workforce, actually. Amazing. Why the wheels? Why not uh, the wheels? wheels, yes. Most of you probably, if you know humanoids, have uh, feet. It's, uh, that's where we started, actually. We started with feet. Uh, then we decided to try belts. At the end of the day, the most efficient locomotion mechanism. When you think about going forward with a certain speed, you saw it coming out, it can go backwards, it can pivot quickly. Uh, we tried, I would say, uh, quite a few different uh, configurations, and the wheel is by far the most efficient mechanism we have. Amazing. Can we see it break dance? Um, well, we actually, in honesty, uh, we actually did teach the robot a few dancing moves. Um, <laughs> Engineers like to you know, play with robots, of course. Uh, but we decided actually that the, the real focus of the robotics division was to bring business value to our customers. And so we're focusing a little more on manipulation, asset inspection, reality capture, than we're focusing on break dancing. So I will have to disappoint you on that one. Okay. <laughs> so, so when do you think we'll see it working in society? Uh, well, well um, actually, a good plug, maybe, if I may. Uh, for, there's a general session at 4.30 today where we're going to tell you quite a bit more about Aeon in terms of capability, use cases, and so on. And one of the things we will disclose this afternoon is that we have two pilot customers that will test Aeon across a number of use cases, manipulation, machine tending, rally capture. And so we will keep that secret until 4.30 uh, to make sure that you all come back at 4.30. Right? Um, but uh, no, we're very excited that uh, we're already having Aeon deployed in, in the real world.
Amazing. Let's get to work. Thank you, Arnoon. Thank you, Rayon. Excellent. Yes. Yeah.